she had an excessive anterior pelvic tilting or plantar flexion attributing to this woman. Again, you can see here that she had an equines, and from the sagittal one, she has an excessive anterior pelvic tilting. So which is the primary in this condition? If we have a good knowledge, we will go and say that the review started to mention that we have many factors attributing to the anterior pelvic tilting that could be related to the increase at <clears throat> in the hamstring weakness, inadequate hamstring lengthening, spasticity of the rectus femoris, south major contractures, or weakness of the core. So we have many points can attribute to the anterior pelvic tilting generally. So we need to identify which reason is causing this deviation among these girls. And with further analysis and information from the gate lab, we will find that for this lady, she tried to compensate because she had an equinus. So she is not stable. So she tried to rest her heel. And in this condition, she has an excessive pelvic tilting by this way and lashing of the lumbar lordosis. So if I am treating her condition, while the anterior tilting considered as the primary, 